Hey guys, Brandon here, and yes, this week uh, I placed an order for a Model X. Now I've been thinking about getting a Model X for quite a while now, so here are some of the reasons why I got it now uh, as opposed to later. And I want to share those now <clears throat> in case somebody else is looking to get an S or an X and is trying to find reasons to pull the trigger. So the first thing that's probably most time sensitive is the issue of free unlimited supercharging. So my current Model S has a free unlimited supercharging because I bought it um, back in 2015. Um, at the end of January, the additional referral code based uh, free unlimited supercharging is going away. And, um, or at least it's scheduled to, to go away. Now, who knows what they're going to do with the next period of, um, of referral codes. But I think, I think it might actually be um, the last time to get that. And the reason I think that is... Uh, Tesla's making efforts um, to reduce the number of Teslas at superchargers um, as much, except for long distance travel. So for example, um, they've introduced like the actual pay per use model, um, which is what every uh, Model S or Model X uh, is under currently, unless you have um, free unlimited uh, via a referral code. Uh, so they've done that. Um, they've also, since December 15th of uh, 2017, um, new cars, uh, they don't want the superchargers being used for commercial or governmental use, including like taxi or rideshare services or, um, you know, delivery services or, you know, that kind of thing. And of course, more and more Teslas are being sold, so there's going to be more on the road. And they're also putting lots of money into expanding the supercharger network. So I think probably now is actually a good time that they will kind of do away with the free unlimited. They, the ball is rolling on Tesla's. They don't really need to include it with their new cars. And, um, you know, I mean, I can't say for sure, but it might not be available after the next two weeks. Now related to that, um, the current, uh, referral period ends in about two weeks. Uh, January 31st is the last day. And um, you can actually use your own referral code. So I used my own when I um, bought the X. You do have to do it with a sales representative. You can't do it through the um, through the website. But anyway, and um, I had a couple before this. So using my own referral code allows me to get the Arachnid wheels, which I had not qualified for before. At least I don't think I had. So that was another reason to do it before this time period had expired. Now, one of the reasons I had actually been putting off um, getting the Model X, besides the large expense that it is, is I was kind of waiting for some refreshed um, uh, design as well as uh, battery technology. So I kind of thought over this past year in 2017 that Tesla was going to come out with the next generation uh, supercharging compatible batteries. That hasn't been the case. Um, and I also thought there might be a little bit of a style refresh on the Model X, which there hasn't been. I mean, there kind of has been because if you look at the original prototypes for Model X, it still had the nose cone, but then the thing got delayed so long that by the time it actually came out, it had the refreshed nose. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, there hasn't been really any styling changes uh, since then. So I was kind of putting it off uh, for the reason that I thought, I thought when I was a trip, I would rather um, charge faster than for free. But as I think about that more and more, I don't think that's actually the case for me. It's actually, I really enjoy having unlimited free access to the supercharger uh, network in my S, and I think that will translate to um, the Model X as well. So for example, if I had, if I still had this Model S, which had free unlimited, and I had, we had the SUV and we were gonna go on a trip and I'd have to think like, okay, which vehicle do we wanna take? Well, there's the one with a lot of room, but then there's the one that drives completely free um, I didn't want to have to deal with that. So, um, you know, now, now that we have, um, our family's growing, we're going to need to be stopping anyway. So, um, it's not that big a deal to, to charge and the battery, uh, we're getting the 100 D is so huge that, um, you know, I think, I think it'll be even more convenient than my current 70 battery is by far. So anyway, a design refresh does not appear to be imminent. Um, so, I sort of took that out of the uh, equation for keeping me from going forward with the order. So a couple other um, issues related to monetary stuff that's time sensitive. So uh, first, uh, I'll probably be trading in my Model S and mine still qualifies for the residual value guarantee, um, which goes out at three years, which for me ends in uh, this summer. So that was another reason just to, to stay on that algorithm. 
Um, I wanted to trade this in while it would have the maximum value. Uh, another thing is uh, Tesla internal financing right now. If you order a Model X um, or I think the 100 Model S is, I'm not sure though. Um, if you order them and get it delivered by the end of March, uh, you can apply for 1.49% uh, um, financing, which is a very low interest rate. Um, so, and right now, Model X, if you go to their website and look at the ordering menu, you have to, like, they're delivering in March. So, in the next couple of weeks, that's probably not going to be available um, anymore, unless you buy, like, an inventory, of which there are very few. Um, they really cleared out last year of all their inventories. Um, so, anyway, that was another reason. Another thing is the uh, tax credit, which is um, probably going to start phasing out later this year. Don't know when. I suspect Tesla's going to hit 200,000 U.S. Uh, vehicles by um, uh, next quarter sometime. Possibly the end of this quarter. I don't know. It depends how many people use my referral code. I think that might tip it over. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I, I mean, I could still delay it for a number of months, but if I'm going to do it this year, I may as well do it now while I can still get free unlimited supercharging and I can bump up my um, referral numbers and stuff like that. So for those reasons, like now, the next couple, the next two weeks actually in January is a great time to buy a Model S or a Model X, and I'm not just saying that, I'm actually buying one. <laughs> um, it, it happens to fit our uh, family timing and stuff like that right now for us too, so it's not all um, Tesla factors. Um, but yeah, so if you're looking at buying a Tesla Model S or a Model X, um, you know, I can't say for sure, but free unlimited supercharging might be going away. Um, within the next couple of weeks. So if that's important to you, um, might want to get on that. And feel free to use my referral code or refer it to uh, somebody else. Um, pass it on. Brandon1055 is the code that a Tesla salesperson would need. Or I always have a link to it in most, well, most of my videos. So anyway, yeah, we're getting a Model X. And uh, I'm going to do another video about more specifics about why we're getting a Model X and like the features and stuff like that. But this was this video I wanted to go about like what's the deal with the timing, like why now, um, especially if somebody else is considering when to buy one. So anyway, great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.